to say I've seen a lot of first fights that look pretty good for a first one. Yeah. Hi, it's Gray from Curry Country Living, and this is an intro into an intro uh, with Justin's first boxing match. And I just wanted to set this up a little bit. It's a long video, probably about 35 minutes. It's going to give you more of the flavor of the Pan Am as far as uh, what happens behind the scenes and what leads up to, to, to Justin's first match. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to mention is the, the friends that Justin surrounds himself with, whether it's um, through the art world or whether it's through uh, the Pan Am studio. He's surrounded himself with some very um, great people. And uh, as parents, we always appreciate that. Uh, Justin, uh, you've done well. Um, you continue to do well. And it's because of the people you surround yourself with. Tracy and I are headed into Winnipeg today to see our oldest son, Justin, in his first boxing match. Justin's been involved in boxing for quite a few years as a digital artist working out of Winnipeg. He finds that the, the gym membership and the activity in the gym has, has kept him in, in uh, good shape. So I know absolutely nothing about boxing. We don't know what we're getting ourselves into. It's the Battle of the Basement at the Pan Am Boxing Clinic in Winnipeg. And we hope to have more information for you at the end of the video. Have a look. We'll talk to you at the end. Okay, we are in downtown Winnipeg. We have Darcy, our Uber driver, and she's doing an excellent draw, drive, job of driving us. We're going to Justin's first boxing match that we have seen. So um, this is a new experience for us. Um, yeah, we'll be showing some footage. Is see your what boyfriend you gonna get beat up, Darcy? No. He's gonna worry, be okay? Worry about the other guy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>
and around 2018, 2019, I started to get a little serious and started going three, four times a week and now I'm going anywhere from four to nine times a week and started sparring as well. So um, it's the Pan Am boxing, Pan Am in, boxing. The, in the basement of uh, uh, Seven, Yeah, um, I'm at Somebody Arthur now, they're across the street yeah. at two. So it's like literally walking. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing that's great about it, they are downstairs from where I work, so. And the other part that works well with your occupation is that um, you're not very physically active. I sit all day, so having to work really hard for an hour yeah. is kind of great, a great way to cap oh. off the day. So what we've seen today was your actual first ever fight. My first ever fight, it was an exhibition. So it wasn't for um, credentials, it can go towards a record. It was more of a fighting on easy kind of thing. We're a little less time on the rounds. We're not supposed to try to kill each other, but it was still yeah. pretty intense. And, and uh, a lot of people were complimenting your first fight as far as how you guys did. Um, but as we got into the fights behind you, those guys were a little... A little worse. sloppier, but like a lot more power and I think a lot more energy was... Yeah, so I don't I don't know if I really want to get to that. I'd like to have maybe another fight or two, but that's about it. Oh. Yeah. Um, and we got a bunch of people up in the studio right now. After um, the fights, yeah. Well, yeah, from the fights. So these people are, aren't involved with you necessarily through the business, but through... Um, They're all through boxing. Yeah. So I'm going to talk to some of them, and they all, all have right. great things to say about you, or what? Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> I survived my first fight. I'm not bruised up. I've been watching all the Rocky films as prep, <laughs> so I was ready. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right, all right. How's everybody this afternoon? You guys doing good? <laughs> On behalf of Harry and Susan Black, Dylan, Jesse, and the rest of the Pan Am Boxing Club. I am thrilled to welcome you all to this exciting afternoon of amateur boxing. We have boxers not only from gyms in and around the city. <laughs> all of these boxers have been training hard to get ready to face one another in the ring. It's going to be an amazing display of skill, fitness, determination, and courage, and we are excited yeah. to share it with you. I'm particularly pleased to welcome everyone who is enjoying the proceedings virtually from the comfort of your home. All right, if the fighters can make their way to the ring for the first bout, I believe we are ready to get started. Put your hands together. All right, kicking off this afternoon's proceedings, two boxers making their debuts. This is the first time getting in the ring for both of them. Please welcome first. Great. That's right, respect. Boxing out of the red corner from right here at Pan Am. Let's hear it for Dave Hoover. <laughs> and across the ring, boxing out of the blue corner, also from Pan Am. Let's give it up for Justin Curry.
It's a good church, folks. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Oh, oh, nice one.
First fights that look pretty good for a first one. some improvement and now it's like uh, today was the testament of his hard work right? yeah and um, just um, stepping into the ring well it's first fight and i'm i'm i've been in winnipeg the odd time but this isn't a winnipeg asset i'm picking up on what kind of uh, <laughs> background do we have here? <laughs> well i'm from nicaragua so i speak spanish okay. i'm from El Salvador. What, what year what year did you guys move to london 2006 for me Late 80s, you know. So, uh, for a while. so the winter shouldn't bother you at all. Oh, it does. <laughs> 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 
Don't try to sell it to me. <laughs> so um, I had nothing to do with boxing, and this was my first experience, and I was so impressed with how everybody supports everybody down there, and, and uh, everybody cheers and, and yeah. a little bit. Um, is this kind of like why you guys are involved in that, or what, how, what got you involved in boxing? Oh, mine was funny. I uh, used to play soccer when I was a kid, and I uh, used to get kicked a lot. And one time I was like, you know what, I want to go learn some boxing, so I can, like, you know, if somebody kicks me, I can, you know, defend myself a little bit. And I started boxing, and then um, I really liked it. So I stopped playing soccer to go to boxing. Yeah, it turned into like a, like a life thing. It was a passion. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing it since I was up, since 18 or so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, For a few years. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, kind of the same story, like I was a little kid, a couple of years, a friend said to me, you want to learn karate? Have you watched the movies of Bruce Lee? I was like, uh, sure. So that's when I started my uh, career in martial arts. So I've been doing this for over 40 years now. So yeah, I do karate, jiu-jitsu, boxing. Oh, wow. Wow. Very really fun. Well, well uh, I think I did take a picture. So and I'm, I may be off base here, but... Did you go skating for the first time on the on the river with Justin? Mm, uh, no, no, no. We uh, we did that a few years ago, actually. Like uh, so, a bunch of us get together now every winter for, yeah, yeah. in the in the river to just go skating. But like that's the thing that we've all picked up. I know Justin is an amazing skater. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to laugh like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so. But it's good to like all of us get together and kind of get to see some some like some of the guys like Justin and Chris. They are really very scared and they kind of show us what to do. Yeah. Because I'm like, you might, you, you will see me out there, and I'm like learning these things like I'm a deer, just like <laughs> moving in there. I'm like, hey, how are you doing that? Well, I'm gonna guess if you're boxing and you're into a, a bunch of different sports and stuff, you would you'd just be a natural to, to pick it up and stuff. So. It, it, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. So, anyways, thanks very much for talking. To me. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, and Justin. you said we're going to do something in Spanish, so do you want to see oh, yeah. uh, Justin in Spanish? Felicidades en tu uh, la pelea de hoy en boxeo. Yeah, muy buen boxeo. Muy bueno, muy, muy bueno. So I'm going to have to get you to introduce yourself, because first of all, I'm terribly bad with names. Sure. I know you're involved with boxing, and I know you know Justin. That's about all I know at this point. I do. So, uh, so the... I'll tell you the story of how I met Justin. That would be great. Um, I moved back to Winnipeg in uh, 2015, and uh, and I had been training uh, Muay Thai and kickboxing uh, for years before that. And coming back into Winnipeg, I thought, okay, I need to get my bearings straight. I need to f first things first. I need to find a good gym to start training in, and. I took a little walk around the exchange district. I was like moving around, uh, living around there. Yeah. And I saw a bunch of people with hand wraps around their, around their wrists. Uh -huh. And they're running around the block. And I said, okay, that looks promising. Uh, so I go in and it's a boxing gym. Uh, okay, well, that's not really my style. This will hold me over until I find, you know, a real like kickboxing gym or something. Like that. And so anyway, I get in there. And the lady who was running the class, you know, comes over to me working on a bag. She says, oh, you, you seem to know what you're kind of doing here. I said, yeah, I've, I've done some stuff before. She's like, okay, let's try something. She, she says, I want you to hit the bag and then get out. So I hit the bag and she swings and she hits me in the face. <laughs> Very first day. Very first day. She hits me in the face. She said, you were supposed to move. And I was like, you hit me. She's like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I love it. And so I stayed. Literally about a week later, I'm hanging out like we just finished a workout. We're all collapsed into puddles of exhaustion. And over in the corner, I hear these two guys talking about Iron Man or Spider-Man or something like that. And I go over and I say, hey, are you guys talking about Spider-Man over here? And it was Justin and his friend Will Little. And they said, yeah, we're preparing for it. And I was like, amazing. Like, can I see some of your stuff? <laughs> Literally, same day, Justin's like, hey, yeah, do you want to come over to the studio <laughs> and see what I'm working on? And I'm like, are you kidding me? Of course I do. And hit it off ever since then. Oh, right on. Wow. And so now we've been training together for seven or eight years. Uh, I help him out with some of the comic Some of the comic cons, yes. Comic convention. Yeah. And uh, it's just a beautiful friendship is 
has blossomed from the dirt, you know? Like, well, uh, and I'm glad that that girl hit you. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You yeah know, that's so. what made me fall in love with the place, and so, I haven't looked back. Are you original Winnipegger or whatever? Uh, I'm from Flin Flon, Manitoba. You're from Flin Flon, so yeah. you don't need Flawny. That's, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And then you got down to Winnipeg, and then where did you take off to in between? Uh, so I came here for university. Uh, I spent about five or six years here uh, while I was going to university and spent a year working, yeah. and then I just caught the traffic bug, and I lived uh, like a nomad for seven years yeah, wow. all over the place right on yeah well that's great i, I uh, appreciate you talking to me yeah he asked if you could have a drink and i said only if i Seriously. could have one too so hey you know justin did really well for his first fight that was uh, that was a lot of fun well you know and i don't know anything about boxing but um how do you feel he did pardon me how do you feel he did uh well i but you know it was a good thing it was the first one because they, they went out pretty good oh but then like the, the the temple went up quite a bit after that with the guys who were doing serious sure right right but right. i can see how uh i can see how getting hit in the head a couple of times by some of those guys would really really hurt uh, yeah you know what it's uh it's funny it, it doesn't hurt nearly as much as what you might think it's uh you, you kind of feel a little bit after but it's the body shots yeah that hurts that, in the moment yeah and i can see that too yes so. and, I, and as far as i saw justin did not take too many of those so well, should we'll, be uh, right. we'll review the tape and we'll see what happens <laughs> so. um the guy who was doing the ringmaster stuff i heard him say that um he thought that Justin's match was more technical, mm -hmm. that they were um, better technical in many ways than some of the other fights. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, they've been doing it for, for a while now. And, uh, and, and I mean, to call that their, their first uh, experience is, is interesting because you'll have a lot of people who, uh, you know, they, they think they want to be a boxer or whatever. They train for a month or two and then they jump in the ring. Yeah. Which is which is cool. Like that's you know, that if you're really if you really want to get into it, that's it's good to sort of, you know, be forged under fire like that. But Justin's been in the oven for a long time, so yeah. he was ready to debut. Yeah. Right on. Cool. What, what did you think, Tracy? Have you seen your boy get hit? It was okay because he I he didn't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm yeah. okay. All right. I'm that <laughs> Right on. Great job. All I know is that you guys are involved with Justin through boxing somehow. But I'll maybe get you to introduce yourselves and then how that how that connection is made. So. Sure. I'm Patty and uh, I'm a boxer and I'm a trainer as well. I'm Adam and I'm uh, one of the coaches who have been at Pan Am for oh God, close to 15 years now. Yeah. So do you guys both box? Yes. He, he's a former boxer. I used to fight now a coach and she fights. So, um, do you remember your first fights? Yes. So, do you want to tell me about your first fight? My first fight? Sure. Uh, it was an exhibition, actually. And it was outside the city. The girl was a little lighter than me. It wasn't a great fight, um, but good experience nonetheless. Yeah. yeah. My first fight, so my first two fights were against the same guy. Uh, I think it was out of town and actually white mouth. Remember, um, yeah, real nervous and and just fought my heart over. Yeah, mm -hmm. So was it kind of the same format as what we've seen today? Like you know, like it was in a, it was in a gym. This one was in the Pan Am down in the basement, and you have a um, three rounds, and and you just go in and there's a bunch of people all telling telling you they had art and and duck. Is that kind of the same format with a lot of boxing? Yeah, usually more often than not, it's at the uh, community yeah. center or. Although sort of that not very rarely happens in the gym, but yeah, it's yeah. almost exactly the same. Yeah. So, and I can't remember it because I'm always behind the camera. Going, but were you were you helping Justin when he did? Yes. Yeah. So was he pretty nervous? Uh, yeah, I, I imagine he was, but he didn't, he didn't seem nervous. No, he was real, real cool on the surface. Yeah. So, uh, I, I, and again, I don't know much about boxing, but I thought the fight went well. But they both seem to um, uh, be able to hit. And take a hit. Absolutely. No, they both, um, for a first fight, for sure, they, I would say they fought with yeah. much more skill than you would expect to see okay. for a first sure. fight. Um, and I think that both of those guys, uh, Justin especially, has much more boxing talent than you would expect to see in someone who's fighting for the first time. Good. You, you know he's got four sisters, so he's had to be <laughs> <laughs> That helps. Over the years. And um, the other thing I wanted to bring up, is I bought uh, $20 worth of 50-50 tickets. And the person that won it bought one I hear. 
One three dollar ticket. Well, it takes. <laughs> one three dollar <laughs> ticket. Yeah. And you won how much? One hundred and seventy dollars. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. I want to mention that Justin is probably one of the hardest working people at Pan Am, and we are very lucky to have him. So oh, I was, wow. I was happy to see him get in there. I think we were all happy to see him get in there. Well, um, as his parents, it's always great to hear that. I know uh, sometimes in high school we often say he, did, he put in 110 percent, but then he was into his art and stuff back then, which, which brought him into where to begin with. And he's always talked about the boxing, uh, boxing community in a very positive uh, way. So we're glad, we're glad you found it. So, yeah. Right on. Yeah. Well, thanks for talking to us. Okay, so I'm uh, Justine Dugue, uh G for short, for those of you who uh, speak French. And uh, I'm a trainer at Pan Am Boxing. I teach Wednesday, 6.45 a.m. So I met Justin through uh, the community at Pan Unboxing, and uh, it's been a couple of years, yeah, since uh, he started 2014, I started about 2013, so we started about the same time, so um, we've known Justin for a long time, and kind of seeing us both grow is kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so are you originally from Winnipeg here? Or? Yes, yeah, one race, yeah. One race from Winnipeg, and um, if you work at the gym, and, and do you do other work as well, or are you? Yeah, so uh, I just volunteer once a week to uh, train, and I'm also uh, VP of sales at a local software company. Oh, yeah. okay, so yeah. you're kind of like, uh, you're into the IT business, or yeah, right? yeah, software sales. Software sales, yes. stuff like that. So, yeah. so Justin's first fight, I know absolutely nothing about boxing, and I've learned so much today, like, I mean, a pile, Trace and I are coming in, and and I've got relatives asking what we expect. I said, I have no idea, I have no idea. First of all, the Pan Am uh, gym is down in the basement, yes. which is kind of cool. To yes. Be, right? And um, and then, yeah, there's a big ring in the middle, and Justin and Dave are the first ones up, and they yep. say, uh, for lack of a better word, it's um, like they're not, um, it's their first fight, both of them first yep. Maybe Maybe tell me about that. Like, what's that like? Um, yeah, that? for sure, yeah. It's, and it's funny enough, I can kind of draw a parallel between uh, my experience and Justin and uh, Dave's experience. So my first fight was actually an exhibition with another member of Panama as well. Uh, and it was the first time I stepped into the ring and uh, you don't quite know what to expect. Uh, you know at least that you know the individual you're gonna be fighting. So in that sense, it's nice because there's a mutual respect. You know that you're not gonna go out and um, you know uh, go out there and prove anything. Um, but on the flip side, you also know that everyone in the club, there's a bit of like everyone in the club's watching you, right? And you're both members in the club. Yeah. Yeah, so there's that element. So I, I draw a parallel to that, but it seems like uh, it kind of went the same way. We're really good matchup, equally matched, and uh, both really hard workers, Justin and Dave. So uh, I think the biggest thing is just like the, um, the fight or flight response, the pressure that you get being in front of somebody who, like, the goal of the sport is to hurt the other opponent, the other person, right? So there's a certain element of that where you kind of realize when you step into the ring, you're like, Oh yeah, this is the purpose of the sport. Is like there's a certain element of violence to it, so you kind of have to trust your your opponent, right? That you're respecting each other, and um, yeah, uh, lo and behold, it went really well, and it shows that they both um, had control, and they were both having fun yeah. out there, right? So yeah. yeah. Um, as the uh, and is that that was the first fight? I think there was 13 fights today. Yes, yeah, right? quite a bit. And uh, some of them, um, and again, uh, this is the first time I've watched boxing. But wow, some of them were yeah. fairly aggressive and fairly. Um, at, but you know what? There always seem to be that mutual effect. I, I see, like, yeah. you know, like tempers, the adrenaline gets going, the tempers get going a little bit. But everybody at the end of the fight um, seemed to go over and congratulate the other guy. And, yeah. But um, that's the sport, right? It's, yeah. Uh, it's all about the respect and like knowing that somebody you're getting in front of somebody. And at the end of the day, I think just showing that respect uh, to the opponent is important. And I'm glad like most people did it today. So yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So, um, so you you enjoy working at the Pan Am? Yes. Uh, anyone that's interested in coming down, um, it's downtown McDermott. Yeah. Um, just show up. I know I was just talking to Ian, and he just happened to walk in randomly. Yeah. Uh, four or five years ago, and has been there. Ever since. Yeah. yeah. Same same as me. I I, uh, I was doing it was seventeen eighteen. First thing I did was okay. I want to get into boxing. I googled. Boxing Winnipeg, the first thing that came up was Pan and Boxing, so I went to that gym, the rest is history. So for me, it was literally that. It's another gym that I came up on top, I would have been there 10 years later. Oh, really? So that's how it happened for me. So yeah, we all kind of find our way there. And then uh, I'm sure Justin would say the same, but I stumbled upon a community that really changed my life. So it's really neat, yeah, in that sense. Pan and Boxing is amazing, so. Right on. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, yeah. Mark. Yeah, my pleasure, yeah. Right. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching that. And if you enjoyed that video, consider giving me a thumbs up. Subscribing to Curry Country Living or leaving some comments. Maybe you have some boxing experience um, that you that you can relate to. Uh, do, you, do you know anything about the Pan Am? What uh, what club do you belong to? Like I say, Trace and I, this is not our world. This isn't part of our uh, anything we've had any experience with. I was very impressed with the whole uh, setup from the Pan Am's point of view. 
the, um, the sense of um, how people help each other and how they support each other. So until next time, as always, stay safe and we'll talk to you later. Oh,